Good day everyone. Welcome to Learn with MN. In this video, we will discuss the last geometric shape tool of Inkscape, which is the Spiral Tool. The tool with the spirals icon in the toolbar is Spiral Tool. You can also select it via the shortcut key I. This tool is simple and not commonly used, but sometimes, it is very useful. Just left click and drag to draw a spiral like this. To move, scale or rotate the shape, we will use the selection tool. You can switch to the selection tool by pressing the spacebar. Now you can move and scale it. You can also come back to the spiral tool by pressing it again, or double click on the shape can also open the spiral tool. If you want to learn more about the selection tool, you can find its tutorial video on the i button. When the spiral is created, two diamond-shaped handles appear at each end of the spiral. This one is the inner handle, and this one is the outer handle. Both are used for multiple purposes. For example, starting with simple dragging. When the handle is dragged, it will roll and unroll the spiral. Or, in other words, it makes the spiral longer or shorter, either you select the inner handle or outer handle. In terms of the tool's options above here, when the outer handle is dragged, it changes the number of turns. Like, if I drag it, you see here the number of turns increases outside and decreases inside. You can also add turns manually by typing here as many as you want. Now, if I drag the inner handle, it changes the inner radius of the spiral like this. Its value can also be changed from here. Its value ranges from 0 to 0 0.999. The zero value is for the center of the spiral, which is its default position, and the 0 0.999 value is for the outer handle position. You can type in any value here or simply drag it from the center to any other place. If I drag it till the outer handle of the spiral, you can see here at this position its value is 0 0.999. To restore back the default position of the inner handle, hold shift and click on the inner handle, and there it is, placed back to the center. Now, let's move to some key combinations with these handles. While holding the control key, both inner and outer handles roll and unroll the spiral by snap angle value, just like this. In previous videos, we have discussed what is a snap angle. It is a fixed value by which any object is transformed. By default, its value is 15. But it is not fixed, it can be changed from perspectives. Okay, coming back to combinations. If I hold the shift key and drag the outer handle, it will scale and rotate the spiral as I move. You can also restrict it to rotate only using the outer handle. For this, hold both the shift and alt key, then it will only rotate the spiral. Last is the alt key. If I drag the inner handle while holding the alt key, it changes the divergence value of the spiral, you can also see it here. It defines the space or distance between each turn of the spiral. Or, we can say that it tightens or loosens the spiral. The value 1 is for equal and uniform distance. To reset the divergence value simply type 1 here, or click on the inner handle while holding the ALT key. It also resets the divergence value. To reset all the values of the spiral, just click this button. It will reset the spiral to its default values. An important thing I want to discuss here before ending this video is that till now we have discussed all geometric shapes including rectangles, ellipses, polygons, stars, 3D boxes, and today's spirals. You can see here that all these shapes except spirals are closed path shapes. But the spiral is an open path shape. If you see here, the spiral is shown with a black stroke. We can change its color from the color palette here while holding the shift key. Or we can also make it wider by increasing its width from stroke styles. Let's say to 5. But for fill, it works differently as compared to these shapes. For example, if I fill it with the color yellow, you see it has not filled the whole shape. The reason is that by default, Inkscape filled the open path object by the even odd rule. To fill it whole, we have to change its fill rule to non zero. Now, don't worry about the terms even odd and non zero rule. We will discuss them in detail in the fill and stroke video. For now, 
I am just giving you the solution if you want to fill the whole spiral. For this, we have to change its fill rule. So, go to the fill tab in fill and strokes while selecting the spiral shape. Here in the right top corner, you will see two shapes. This one that is half filled and checked is for even odd fill. And the next one that is whole solid fill is for non-zero fill. Click this button, you see the spiral is filled as a whole. That was all for the spiral tool of the Inkscape. In upcoming videos, we will discuss the other tools of Inkscape in detail, so stay tuned. If you have any queries, feel free to write in the comment section or contact us on our website, its link is in the description. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon, so you don't miss any updates. Thank you for watching.